Hi, I'm Melissa from Northline Express, and I'm here at the Garish Township Fire and EMS in honor of 2013 Fire Safety Week. We're here today to make sure that you guys in your home are well aware of the dangers of chimney fires, how they can be reduced, what actually causes the chimney fires, and some great products that you can use to prevent those chimney fires in your home. We're also going to cover some statistics of actual home fires in the nation and help eliminate them as well. In honor of National Fire Safety Week, I've got Mike Bentley here with me today, and he's going to help us answer some of these questions and also give us some tips on things to be aware of and signs of a chimney fire in your home. I'm going to give him a little bit of camera time to introduce himself. Go ahead, Mike. It's all yours. Hi, I'm Mike Bentley with Garish Township Fire and EMS. I've been with Garish for about two and a half years now, and I love the job. I love coming to work every day, and I'm very excited to be here today. Well, thank you, Mike. I'm really glad that you're here helping us out today, too. So let's get started by talking about what actually causes chimney fires, what this dangerous thing inside your chimney is that makes your fires so easy to get started. Okay, the first thing that we want to talk about is what actually makes the fires happen inside of the chimney. And this is actually caused by something building up inside your chimney. Mike, can you tell us what that dangerous buildup inside the chimney is? The buildup inside the chimney is creosote buildup uh, from on burned fuel. fuels. Okay, so what Mike is talking about is actually creosote. And that's a number one problem across the nation. It's the number one reason for home fires in chimneys. And that's actually caused by burning unseasoned wood, wet wood, or just really tarry pine-like woods. Because what happens when creosote builds up is unburned gases from your fire fuel inside of your wood stove or fireplace actually go up into your flue and then the temperature change up there is very drastic. So that gas up there is going to condensate either on your flue tiles inside your chimney or on the uh, stainless steel of your chimney pipe. Once that does, that creosote gas turns into a tar-like sticky substance and then it's going to build up and it's going to continue to build up and the more often you burn, the more our creosote you're going to have up in your chimney. When chimney creosote becomes bad enough, sometimes you can notice that you may see it dripping down your walls, up on the top parts of the tr crown of your chimney or your chimney cap, but most of the time it actually remains hidden in your chimney as an unknown danger, but it's a very dangerous thing in your house that can lead to fires and like I mentioned earlier it's one of the number one causes for home fires in the United States right now. So if a homeowner was to be experiencing a chimney fire how would they know because obviously that fire is up inside the chimney what are some Correct. things that they should look for or listen for? The first thing they're going to notice is a loud cracking or popping noise then also they're going to notice a lot of dense smoke um, and the, an intense smell of heat a uh, uh, very hot smell. Um, next uh, the other thing is that chimney fires can be actually explosive. Um, people have described the sound uh, similar to a freight train. Okay, and that freight train noise that you're describing is actually probably the high heat inside of the chimney actually swirling around. Correct. And if they hear that noise inside their fireplace and it's an unusual noise that they're not hearing on a regular basis, would you say that that's time to call the fire department right away? Absolutely, absolutely. I would rather be safe than sorry. So. You heard it from him. If you, even if you don't know that there's a chimney fire, and if you're hearing those sounds that Mike just recommended, we strongly recommend don't try and take things on yourself. Make sure you get the fire department on the phone and get them out to your house right away. Better safe than sorry. You couldn't have said it better, Mike. <laughs> okay, the next thing that we're going to talk about is some statistics about home fires caused by chimneys or wood stoves and fireplaces in the home and what those statistics are and actually put some realism behind the fact I'm just saying there's a lot of chimney fires in the United States. Now I've mentioned it multiple times that in the United States that chimney and fires in your home are actually a very high occurrence. Mike's more of the expert here on that so I'm going to let him take over here and give you some specs on actual numbers in the United States over the last couple years on chimney fires. Go ahead Mike. Thank you. Um, nationally actually uh, structure fires contributed to chimney fires. There has been 24,300 fires in the United States last year purely on chimney fires. Um, also, that due to chimney fires, there has been 10 deaths and over $30 million in damages. Those numbers are pretty scary and pretty impressive, actually. It's actually a little bit disheartening to hear, and all of this is actually quite preventable. Now let's take it a little closer to home. On a local level, in the Garish Township area, how many chimney fires have you had to report out to in the last couple of years? Actually, in, in Garish, um, over the last couple of years, last year, we had zero, um, oh. and we attribute that mainly to our fire prevention program and, and fire prevention. Uh, it really does wonders, but uh, in the last couple of years, maybe a couple a year. Oh, wow. Well, see guys, that's all we're trying to do today is help make sure that you know that chimney fires are actually, for the most part, very preventable. So let's take a break here really quick and then we're going to come back and introduce you to a product that 
is a great product for eliminating a chimney fire if you do happen to pawn one in your home. Okay, so Mike's done a pretty good job letting us know today that chimney fires can actually be prevented. Now, one thing that is a major way to prevent a chimney fire in your home is by cleaning your chimney and keeping that creosote buildup in your chimney or flue to a minimum. How often would you recommend, Mike, that homeowners that are burning a fireplace or wood stove in their home on a regular basis maintain and clean their chimney? It is very important to have your chimney cleaned at least once a year. Um, definitely before you start burning for the year and it's good to have it done immediately after the end of the season for the wood burning season. Okay and in addition to that it's also great to use products during the burning season on a regular basis to help prevent that creosote buildup in the meantime during the burning season. It's also important to make sure that you're using properly seasoned firewood so that that also decreases the chance of creosote buildup inside your chimney. Now Mike I've got a product here um, Chimfex. Are you familiar with this product? Yeah, pretty familiar with it. I've heard a lot of fire departments are recommending and using this product themselves. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what the product does? Uh, Chimfex basically uh, it, it snuffs out the chimney fire. Um, it is a, a great prevention tool or um, first step tool beyond calling the fire department. Um, you, you place it in your fireplace and it emits gases that will snuff out the ch any chimney fire. So in addition to using this product, if a homeowner were to um, unfortunately have a chimney fire in your home, you recommend keeping these nearby, and if they were in a fire, to go ahead and use it, but you still recommend calling the fire department in addition and having them come out as well, right? Absolutely, absolutely. It's, you know, again, back to always being safe than sorry. So. All right. They're never going to be mad at you for coming out just to make sure they, you know, using a product like Chimfex also can be the difference from losing just the chimney in the area around your chimney in your home and losing your entire home because it took a little bit longer longer for the fire department to get there and the fire could burn uncontrollably. So Chimfex is a good thing for all of you that use your um, wood stoves or fireplaces on a regular basis. Like Mike said again, better safe than sorry, have it on hand and that way if you ever end up in a situation where you are in a chimney fire situation, you can help eliminate it and help make the firefighters jobs a little bit easier when they get out there to help take care of you. Okay, so we've basically covered it up. Creosote buildup inside your chimney is a major contributing factor when it comes to chimney fires. It increases the risk of burning down your home or causing a fire inside your chimney. <laughs> and with cleaning your chimney regularly, you can help reduce that creosote buildup in your, ho in your home's chimney and you can drastically reduce the amounts of chimney fires. Like I said, on, or like Mike said, and as a local basis here, they have a lot less chimney fires than nationwide because they really stress the prevention and the maintenance of the chimneys to help keep those fires to a minimum. Then we also talked about a preventative measure that was Chimfex. We recommend, as well as the Irish Fire Department, recommends keeping that on hand so that in case you ever do end up in the unfortunate circumstance that you have a chimney fire, you can use that to help keep things under control until the fire department is able to be there and help get that fire put out the proper way. And remember, it's a very dangerous thing to have creosote buildup in your chimney, so maintain it prevent it, and keep yourself educated on fire safety so that you can help keep your friends, family, home safe, and you can have your home fires burn, but have your home fires burn safely. I'd like to take a minute to thank you again, Mike. It's been great information that you provided for us. Do you have any additional information or anything you'd like to give everybody before we go? I think we pretty much summed it up. Thank you for coming out today. All right. Well, thanks again, Mike, and you have a great day. You too. So this has been great information we've got today. And in honor of 2013 National Fire Safety Week, make sure that you guys also check with your local fire departments and see what helpful tips they may have for you. And check the statistics out as well. Maybe you can start something in your area to help get the fire levels down to as low as we have them here in our local area. This has been another great tip from Northline Express. And I hope you found this information helpful. But remember, our friendly customer service reps are standing by. So if you've got any questions on fire safety or you've got any questions on any of our creosote prevention products, make sure you give us a call at 866-667-8454 and have a great day. And again, thank you out there to all of our firefighters that do help keep our homes safe and help us keep our home fires burning safely.